another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back, uh, not under the best of news. Um, as y'all may or may not have heard, uh, Cool Hand Luke Campbell has tested positive for COVID-19, and that fight is the Luke Campbell versus uh, Ryan Garcia fight is uh, at least postponed. It looks like it will happen. It just won't be happening on December 5th. Uh, which is a bummer because I was really, really into that fight, as I know y- y'all were too. Um, that was a fight we we picked Ryan Garcia. Uh, I'm sorry, we picked Luke Campbell, and I thought Campbell could outbox him over 12 rounds. I think Ryan Garcia can be outboxed, uh, but that fight is not off. It's just not going on December 5th. They're going to look to reschedule. That was supposed to be the launch of the Zone Global. Um, now, not so much. Um, so that's the bad news. The bad news is we were really looking forward to that fight, and we're not going to get it on December 5th, which is just about four weeks away. Um, although all the news isn't bad. All the news isn't bad. Uh, Ryan Garcia is, you know, along with Virgil Ortiz, are the biggest stars with Golden Boy. So th- th- they're going to make this fight happen. Golden Boy needs this fight. They need to make um, Ryan Garcia a star. And I think they have an in-house replacement who is more than suitable. Um, this was a fight that, in all honesty, Ryan Garcia ducked in the past. Uh, the fight, Tanahara's name was on the contract and Garcia wouldn't sign it. Um, it, Tanahara hasn't fought since January, uh, when he disposed of Juan Carlos Burgos. Uh, he's a master skilled boxer. He is off the charts talented and off the charts sharp. Um, this is a real fight. Tanahara has called him out in the past, um, in the same weight class, the same promotional outfit. They're both ready for the fight. Um, this is a fight that should happen. Um, and, you know, win or lose, Ryan Garcia is a star. Uh, and, and, yes, I want to be up front. I am wearing a hat, ton of hard shirt. Um, I don't make any – uh Yo, I think Tana Hart is a tremendous boxer. I, I, I think that he could win that fight. I think he can outbox Ryan Garcia the same way Luke Campbell can outbox him. I think Tana Hart is probably quicker uh, than Luke Campbell. Uh, Luke Campbell is obviously more experienced. Uh, but I, I would pick either guy to beat Ryan Garcia. I think Hector Tana Hart is that good and that underrated. I think he's probably the most underrated prospect in the sport right now. He's that good. Um, I said it in the past. Um, Hector Tana Hart beats um, Devin Haney as well. Um Tanahara is that good, and, and and I don't know what Oscar's doing over there. I don't know if Oscar is a hundred percent aware of what he has in Hector Tanahara. Um, he's that kind of talent. He's that kind of talent. Um, so the, 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 it's an house fight that that can be made. It's two prospects. Um, look, they were willing to put Roca in. Alex Roca in with um uh who's there? The Speedy Ellis, right? Like they were willing to do that. They should be willing to make this fight. If Tanahara loses, like I, I just picked him, but sure, well, let's say Tanahara loses. So what? He goes back, he's 23, 24, he goes back and he starts to rebuild. If Ryan Garcia loses, he loses and he's still a star. He's still got he's still got the supermodel looks, he's still got the, the followers, he's still got all that. If he loses, he loses. It's not a big deal, right? Like, um, he almost lost to Jason Velez. He's been in tough fights at, at this early stage of his career. Garcia is more battle tested than Tanahara is, but there's no question about it. Tanahara is sharper. Tanahara is sharper in his skills. Now he doesn't have the power or the explosiveness of Ryan Garcia, which makes this an interesting fight, right? There's a path to victory for either guy here. Um, Tanahara's footwork and his jab and his movement is so good. And he showed him the burgers fight, his last fight. He can uh, – now, this would be a disaster if he did this with Ryan Garcia, but he can fight on the inside. He doesn't want to fight Ryan Garcia on the inside. He wants to fight from the outside. Uh, that's pretty obvious. And I, I, I think that he can have success there and he can win there. But this is a fight that should be made, uh, and, and it's, it's easy to make. You have uh, Tanahara, who's preparing for other fights. 
You can get him in. He's still got four weeks to get ready. The fight, he can go in and win. Um, I don't know where their plan is. If they're simply focused on the Luke Campbell fight and nothing else, I, I don't know where they are with any of this. But uh, Ryan Garcia versus Hector Hunter is a fight that's going to have to get made eventually. Right? They're both at 135. They're both at the same stable. Uh, let's get this made now. Uh, let's see what you have. I think, look, if Ryan Garcia is going to stay at 135, I don't know if he is or he isn't. This is a fight that we can see multiple times. I think these are two future world champs, right, who are just starting to enter into their prime. Let's do it now. We could do it three years from now when they're in their prime. But this is a great fight, and, and um, it's an in-house fight. It's easy to make. Tanahara wants the fight. Tanahara has called him out in the past. Tanahara signed a contract to fight um, Ryan Garcia. And the fight has to get made. I mean, this fight has to be made. I, I don't know how Golden Boy um, is going to get around making this much longer. Um, this whole question that Ryan Garcia, if you want to say, Doug, he didn't want to fight Hector Tanahara. You can tell me whatever reason you want to make. That's for a fact. Okay? Why? Because he fold up underneath that Texas heat. And it's not a knock on Ryan Garcia. I think Ryan Garcia's got good skills. I think Ryan Garcia is a future. I think he's a talent. I think right now Hector Tanahara's skills are better. I think he's sharper. Um, I, I think his boxing skills are fundamentally better. He can do he can do more things. He can fight on the move. He can fight going backwards. He can jab. There's more that he can do. Ryan Garcia needs to blow you out. If you if he can't blow you out, he's going to be pushed, and he's not going to blow Hector Tanahara out. Hector Tanahara's skills are way too way too good. Um, you know, I think this is why that Tanahara wins going backwards. Going backwards, circling, circling, sticking the jab, sticking the jab, mixing in uh, his straight right hand. And, you know, he puts on a clinic kind of the way that Devin Haney just did with um, Gamboa. And then when Tanahara wins, now Golden Boy has two superstars at the 135-pound division. Right? The division that has, obviously, Lomachenko, who just lost, but has... Uh, T.P. Lopez, Tank Davis, um, Devin Haney, all those stars. Now you have two guys to throw in the mix with those guys, right? And, uh, again, I think he Hector Tanahara has a legitimate chance against anyone in that division. His skills are that good. If you guys haven't seen him, go back and watch him. Um, he's so sharp, and he's so accurate with his shots, and his jab is quick, and it's long. I'm not saying he beats all these guys. If he fought them all, he probably would get picked off by someone. But just head to head, he can he can outbox anyone in that division. Um, so really, this is where we're at. Uh, Ryan Garcia is looking for a fight. Luke Campbell just testified, and that's a great fight. And I was into that fight, you know. Um, but he tests positive for COVID. That's twenty twenty. That's what the year is. The 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 disaster that is twenty twenty continues on, but it doesn't have to be. We can get a fight that is high level between two unbeaten super prospects just entering their prime right now. We we can make that fight as a replacement, and it's not a bad replacement. It's an excellent replacement. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, would you rather just them push the uh, Luke Campbell fight back? another three weeks a month, whatever it would be. I don't know. Um, or would you, and remember Canelo is probably going to fight on um, the 19th. So they wouldn't use that week. And so it'd have to go the 26th, which is after Christmas or at that, which is the new year. Or so now we're, we're talking probably five weeks and it being next year before we actually get this fight or fight Luke Campbell, right? That, that's the other option. I mean, fight uh, Hector Tanahara. It, it, the Campbell fight can't get made right now because he says it's positive. It happens. It's nobody's fault. But fight Hector Tanahara. And, and, and Hector Tanahara beats Ryan Garcia. And Tanahara can go on and fight L Luke Campbell or, or, or Devin Haney or, or whoever you want to put in front of him. Uh, Haney, uh, Tanahara said he wants both those fights. He wants to fight Ryan Garcia and he wants to fight Devin Haney. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Follow me all form social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, remember, yeah, like, subscribe, share in all forms uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.